All set. Thanks. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for um, being in attendance for this kind of off cycle meeting of the design review board. Um, uh, it is October 6, 2023. My name is Erica Zikas and I am the chair of the board calling this meeting to order at 5 p.m. The meeting is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Minutes are being taken pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the Acts of 2023. This meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. A hyperlink to the hearing will be posted on the town's online calendar. Board members, I'll take a roll call. When I announce your name, please answer affirmatively. Catherine Porter. Here. Lindsay Schnarr. I see you're here. Uh, Karen Winter. Here. And Erica Zikas here. Um, absent tonight is uh, Pat Oth. She's not able to join us. Um, board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I will see your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, please remember to remute yourself. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware the board will not respond to comments during the general public comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the design board chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or ex exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be discontinued from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes the following. Uh, DRB FY 2404, Deborah Noyes from Botanica Home. Um, there are no uh, meeting minutes yet to approve, and then we'll have the general public comment period should anybody wish to join us, other business, and then we'll wrap up. So. Let's get started. Uh, I see Ms. Noise is here. Um, thank you for coming back. Could you unmute? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming back. We're happy to have you. Um, so uh, you submitted an, a new render, uh, a rendered image and a new kind of um, graphic. And mm -hmm. I'm happy to share those or you could share your screen. How would you like to do that? Uh, do you mind? I. I... I didn't no, not at all. hear that. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can get the button to work. All right, so there's the agenda. This is your new awning. And then I have also this image that you shared. Yeah, the, this is the actual um, logo with refinements, but she did it, the designer did it black on white just so you could see it because it would be white on white otherwise. Sure. So picture the colors in the blue awning with this slightly modified and refined um, logo. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I, I did just for the sake of comparison, pull up what you had proposed last time. And so this is the new proposal. Right, to the, which is taking into consideration the comments from the board last time right. to um, make sure that the panel, you know, stayed below the, the ceiling line and, you know, it, well, you have the notes, so I won't, I won't repeat, but yeah, uh, good comments. And I think, uh, I hope that the designer was able to um, address those. Yeah, it seems to me that you were were thoughtful about taking into consideration our comments. And like you mentioned, we were interested in seeing that um, ridge line kind of changing the slope of the um, of the awning. And then also seeing this vertical panel at the front 
um, so that you'd have visibility from for your text for from people um, on the sidewalk. So shall I open it up to other members of the DRB for comment? Well, sure, I'll. Catherine, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to say it just looks wonderful. Uh, you've listened, and um, I think again, I I really love the colors and uh, the blue and the white stand out. It's fresh, and you've been able to give the passerby an idea of what you have, home and gifts. I just think it's uh, it stunning. So that's my comment. Thank you, Catherine. And um, I saw Lindsay's hand flashed and Karen's is up now. Karen, would you like to share a thought and then we'll go to Lindsay? Thank you. Just briefly, I, I agree with everything Catherine said. I think it's so simple and elegant and beautiful and does all the things that were talked about last time. So congratulations, lovely. <clears throat> I have Hi, two tiny children that are very hungry and screeching. So I apologize if they make lots of noise. Um, I'll try to be brief. So I think it's all the things that have already been said. Um, my only thought is the A that's extra large in the middle kind of loses its significance without the bird on top. And I wonder if, if there's... If there's a possibility of continuing to iterate one more time, I wonder if it actually went in the opposite direction, right. such that the bird can still exist on top of the A and fit within that band. Like if that middle A could shrink just even a little more than the, the other text, like if you look at the A at the end, I feel like it would only have to come down a little bit. The bird would obviously have to get smaller, but it could still sit on that A. And it just feels, it feels like having that A extra large doesn't really have a lot of purpose now. And so just in terms of design, I would, I would consider that next round since the bird has moved off, like, could you bring that back in by changing that, the size of that A? Otherwise I think it's beautiful. And if you, you know, are done, I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> if you're, if that's you're done, um, kind of like, iterating on this, I totally get it, but I do think that it could still work um, if, you, if you- Yeah, could. I actually think the designer did try and, you know, she would have had to shrink the whole logo down, you know, somewhat to, to get it to fit or the bird would be um, folding over the back. But I see what you're saying about the larger A. I, I just, I think it might be um, the, I think that with, if you see the A at the end, it doesn't have the little, crossbar and I worry that you know it, it would become harder to read because of that I, I guess that would be my only hesitation but it's I think it's a good idea I just um yeah, and I, I, I don't wonder, know that... sorry go ahead yeah oh now you're in mute Lindsay because <laughs> uh, I was telling them to be quiet um, yeah I think it, the board would have to fold over if it was the current size um but if it I don't know how much smaller it could get with and still be, you know, obvious what it is. But mm -hmm. if the bird shrank down and the A shrank down, I would just be curious what that looks like. And by no means do I want to hold you up and, you know, muddy any process. But um, I think that it's such a it's such a cool concept um, to have the the bird perched there that I feel like it would be it would it would be worth trying to see if it could work. But, uh, that's my only suggestion. I think it looks great otherwise. The only thing that I would add to the to the conversation is that in this render, I, I don't know if it's my eyes are tricking me or not, but it looks like and gift is a different font than yeah, and, that, and that's that's one of the refinements in there. <laughs> okay. So the 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 text that's here um in, in this JPEG image has everything in the home and gift in the same font. And yeah. I'm going to trust that that's your intention. Yes. And absolutely. then in the, in this version, the bird is between the two texts, which is your 
um, which is your intention, the bird on the left I, or I the bird between? In the middle, I think. I think it was for balance. And also, you know, she, as Lindsay pointed out, the, you know, the bird has lost its perch, so to speak. So she added, you know, she added the, the cl claws. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> she added the talons and um, and moved it in the middle. The bird and yeah, the font is all the same. That the earlier uh, rendering with the blue that was me, you know, showing her okay. what your comments were. But I didn't know what font she had used, so you know, okay. I was I was just estimating. But she, yeah, she refined it. Okay, so I think um, board members. <clears throat> Excuse me for clearing my throat. Um, we'll see uh, Botanica on the left, the bird in the center, and then Home and Gift together on the right. Um, and, you know, if you do decide to say have a vinyl with your hours on the door and you want to have the bird on the A, yeah, that yeah. might be a great place to bring that back. But um, that's a great idea. And so I think what I'd ask of the board is can we make an a uh, approve the sign as it's presented today with the suggestion that you continue to explore, but we would be happy to see this or as, as long as the text remains on that vertical panel. Is that? Yeah, I think the bird is really an important yeah. uh, icon. Um, it stands, it sort of pops the whole uh, mm -hmm. front. So, uh, would want to look. I would want it to see it get too small. Although it was really cute when it was perched, but um, I just feel like uh, it's really given a personality to that, uh, to the whole awning. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Whatever you can do to keep it. All right. Sure. And, and Karen. Yeah, I I also think I like the fact that the lettering isn't all the same size because that's kind of boring. Um, but I agree. I think you play around with it. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. Whatever you come up with, basically, this vertical lettering is nice and the bird is beautiful. Um, it, it is too bad that it can't be on the perch. That was very cool. Mm. But um, I, I I just think it's interesting like this, even though it's there's no reason for the A to be big. It's just more interesting than having the plain old yes. letters. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does that you you're you're modifying the the existing frame and not using the the the, the arched place where the 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 globe for the blue marble currently mm -hmm. sits. That would be an option for finding a way to include the bird on the perch, but. Again, it's like yeah. we're happy I don't, to. I don't. I don't think it would line up because yeah. the you know the yeah. on the the circular thing is over to the left, so Botanica would have to fit there. And yeah, I, mm -hmm. I don't think it could work. But <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. Any last comments before I ask for a motion to approve with uh, as is, but also making some suggestions. <laughs> right. Yeah. Karen? Um, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know my hand was up. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I move that we uh, accept the, the rendering of this awning uh, with um, possible tweaks, but as is, if that's the way it has to be. And it was a severe sort of a muddled motion, but I think is that actually, sort of the essence? Actually, I'm just looking at it now and I see that the designer actually oh. did um reduce the A and make it uh -huh. in line with the other A. So yeah. yeah. So, you know, the only, you know, I think now the only, you know, the, the sad thing is that the bird can't be up there. But I think, you know, logistically, I, I don't think it would work. So I think that she's addressed at least half right. of Lindsay's comment there by reducing that A down. Mm -hmm. I, I liked it big too. Um, as you said, Karen, is, do I have yeah, it? I like right? it big. I, I liked it too. I like the, you know, yeah. the size being a little bit bigger, but I, you know, I guess there, there are arguments either way. So I think um, it feels more, it just feels more uniform for that very thin bar that we have. Um, mm -hmm. 
you know, but because it's so uniform and the bar is so sleek and elegant and simple, it's nice to have the lettering be a little interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so and I think are we? Uh, you're going to you, make you do have an interesting thought. Well, we have um, uh, we have a motion on the on the table. It's um, maybe I, I should re. I don't, I maybe I should re. We, we I think we that. could clarify it, but maybe Rob could let yeah. us know what he typed out. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So I mean, the way that I'm thinking, uh, and this is the interpretation I'm getting from the board, that you're just going to approve to accept it as is. But off the record, you're going to suggest, hey, you know, maybe down in the future, you could try putting the bird above the A again and see what it looks like. Yeah. But, it, you know, when I submit a memo to the building department, I'm going to say um, they like it as is so they can, you know, get their building or get the awning permit. Yep. So the cool. it's the A. It's the first A. Uh, is that just we're going to, going to leave that to the final? Yeah. Catherine, this this what's on the screen now and sorry there's this, this little band at the bottom that i can't seem to get rid of um the the, yeah. the version that's on the bottom is what will be appearing on okay the blue band mm -hmm. all right but we're hearing that there could be uh, karen and i would have liked the bigger a uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to get in a big thing about this but uh is there a decision or we're going to Pass yeah, well, I, I think the if I could if I could clarify, I think the motion that you made was to approve what we see on the screen as with and then but with some recommendations that yes. other Ms. Noise continues to work with her designer to yeah. refine, include the bird perched on the A, et cetera. But should that not be able to happen, we can approve what we see here today. Oh, I don't think that's what I was thinking. No, okay. I don't. I don't know that the bird will fit on top of the A. We don't want to. I don't want to see a tiny bird. I think, but uh, uh, I'm thinking about the big A. Um, mm -hmm. The seem to be at least two of us to sort of like the A, the bigger A, and seems like two of you are thinking. Let's leave it that way. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just cautious about redesigning somebody's logo. I think we're we're here for the kind of like the architecture and how it fits into the streetscape and mindful yeah. of. Okay, well the blue one threw me then. Okay, so this is the one we really should be looking at. All right, fine. Okay, okay, that's my motion. <laughs> there okay. a second. So I'm just going to, just for the record, because it, it, I want to make sure that we're yeah, okay. working your, your words. I just want to say that the, the, the motion on the table is to approve the, the design as presented this evening. Mm -hmm. um, and, but like Rob said, kind of off the record, we have some suggestions um, yeah. for Ms. Okay. Noyce to continue sure. to design. Yeah. Is that, okay. Sure. May I have, That's may fine. I ask for a second? Second. <laughs> Great, thank you. And um, Rob, I forgot to ask if any members of the public were in attendance this evening. Uh, I can't tell, but let me look. Do not see any members of the public in attendance. All right, great. And could I ask for a vote then? All those in favor, please raise your hand, say aye. aye. That's a unanimous aye. vote. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks. it. Yeah, we appreciate your um, willingness to uh, hear us out, and um, we're excited to yeah. come shopping. Yeah. Yay, me too. Okay. I'm excited to have you come. Thank you very much. Sure. Right. Have a Thank good day. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, DRB folks, nice to see you all. I hope you have a lovely weekend, and thank you for kicking it off um, with the meeting. Okay. Thank all you. Right. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, Rob. You're welcome. See you all.